Hey folks and welcome to the next episode in our playthrough with the Caretaker multi-system. I'm also going to resettle one of these peoples. We'll just take them straight over there. Because it means that we'll produce slightly faster. Having an extra person on the planet means we can upgrade this, which means we can upgrade Situation this. Situation log has been this. updated. Okay, what's that? That is another of the Ute activities. System survey concluded. Where's our little ships? They're both down there. Okay, one can come up here then. You can sort that. Don't think you both need to be down there. So we're going to take a very large hit to our energy once this colony builds up. We are being hailed. On screen. They want to give... So they want a thousand minerals for... Construction a completed. Ah, I'm actually going to take that. That 30 year deal is really going to help us because our research still sucks. This 8,000 minerals is about to disappear because we are about to get star fortresses. And with the star fortresses, we're also going to get an act, uh, a, the chance at habitats. Which I am definitely going to set up. Because we need energy, and habitats are excellent at energy. Knowledge is the key to the universe. There we go. Take that. Star fortress is done. We'll take those quantum torpedoes. Or missiles, rather, not torpedoes. Quantum torpedoes is a bit Star Trek y. Great, though. Alright, so once we get 10,000 minerals, we can start building our habitats. So let's get them up here. And we'll get ready for that. This costs 10,200 influence. But we can easily make 10,000. It does cost, however, 2,200 for each of our Star Fortress upgrades. And the energy that we'll get out of them is very beneficial as well. It's also quite good. I can actually save this planet now. Since I've got habitats, my first, completed. my first habitat that I make, I could just dump down some of our population on. And that they would be perfectly capable of just continuing to, to build up from that area. Construction completed. So, yeah, that's not too bad for us. Right, not long now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can have some more tech. Our energy capa our capacity overloads just ran out. Ugh. Put that back on. Right, one more guy. Once this one's built here, we are good to go. Where is our construction ships off to? I'm just going to delete this. It's actually more efficient for me just to straight up buy one up here. System survey concluded. Much more efficient. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Okay, hyperlanes. So that hyperlane bonus is going to be great. Put more shields in. Just check that we, if we can do this. Ah, we cannot. Construction completed. Okay, we might need to not take the shields then and take the cold fusion completed. reactor instead. Uh, oh, what was that doing? Oh, we've not upgraded these to have the level two. Oh, and even if we do that, wow. If we put the shields on right now, we don't have enough power to fund this. So what are these doing at the moment? 
Yeah, they just don't work. Ugh. Not using the afterburners. Which is not very good. Is someone sitting without a plan? Uh, yeah, they are. Okay. They can move there. We've got 10k minerals. Let's spend, spend, spend. Habitat over here. Ooh, actually. In fact, no, this is fine. If we do this just now, we'll put our people on this one. So we'll take the TL and we'll dump them on that. So that works out okay. And then two months, one month. Our colony ship's on the way down there anyway just now. That's worked out perfectly actually. Because once this is completed, we have access to two more systems. We'll get an extra ascension perk. Our ascension perk is going to be... Ugh. Construction completed. I could hold off on this. We need to try and find climate restoration to get machine worlds. But we can just sit on this at the moment. There's a few others that we could look at. Maybe Galactic Wonders if we can get Mega Engineering. Because uh, that would give us access to that. We've got Master Builders completed. as well. Which does give us the additional tiles onto there. We need the zero point power for that. So it's probably efficient to do that. That's fine. Okay. Cool. We're making a good 180 minerals still. And you can see that we've got our extras there. Colony ship is just making its way down there currently. Let's get this one. Well, we can't do it yet. Oh, no, we can. We've got Colony establishment has begun. Fantastic. Great. We'll get this dumped out as well then. Great. A special project has concluded. Ute artifact recovery. Got three of them now. All right. Well, I think we're going to finish this on up here, but that is pretty good. We've got habitats being built. Great. We've got... What else have we got? Hmm. We've got our... Star fortresses that we can start building, which will help to produce more energy in the areas and give us more anchorages. We have got... What else? We've got the potential to start building up an army right after this. So we just need to keep on building up more of our minerals, which we can easily do off of the planets that we're going to get here. And... We can look at moving into our next Ascension perk, which is either going to be ooh, probably Master Builders or Machine World, depending on what techs we get next. The other thing is we got to, got to, got to get more tech, because this is just unacceptable at this stage. It is so low, the amount that we're producing here. But we are in full production mode. Very easy to keep, on our, min uh, to keep our minerals going. So... Thanks for watching, folks. Take care. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of our Stellaris playthrough with the Caretaker Multi-System. Let us look at what we're doing now. We'll just unpause here, and we are going to... So we've got this planet being colonized right now, and this planet, a colony ship, is being produced at the moment which is going to be lovely. Once this is built up here, Construction completed. we can look at churning out some more robots and moving along at a nice pace. This is going pretty well. So our planet here is going to be probably another mineral world of some description. And this other planet... Uh, oh, sorry. This one is going to be an energy planet and this one is going to be a mineral planet. But we're going to have a lot of our unity bonuses from each of them. We also have a habitat being built currently. If I can find where the habitats are. It's probably not showing up on the list yet. 
There it is. Lovely little habitat here. And we are going to be taking our Tial and dumping them across onto that planet. So, I'm looking forward to getting a bit more of one of our bonuses here. Because our Tial are taking up a very small percentage of our people, unfortunately. But it's giving us a small 10% or 15% production concluded. boost at the moment. So that is something. Right. Construction completed. Yes, indeed. Just got to wait for all of our tech building up in this area. We are producing low numbers of tech. Very pretty i mean obviously our best is twice as good in society but it is purely because of this titanic life planet of course if you remember back the biggest problem that we had in the early stages of this game was that we had very very little oh there's uh, some drones over here just noticed i didn't notice those before ah oh, and there's an asset oh the asset protection unit now we're going to get loads of energy off the back of these but this could be very worthwhile for us. I think I'm going to buy this. Uh, we'll, we'll start boosting our fleet up here. Now, 2.9k is going to easily walk over all of this. For now. But if you look at these ships, they are still pretty damn bad. Construction complete. Weapon tech, a lot to be desired. Construction completed. There's the colony ship out. So, very low on energy, but not a problem. Because our fleet's out, and we've got two colony ships. Completed. Or two colonies being produced right now. So, we've got a pretty nice bonus that we should be getting out of this. Construction completed. Okay. Get these built. And we're going to have to look at some more robots soon. It's nice that we've got extra production coming in here. Just make sure that we've got our edict on. Yep, our drone bounty is still going. This is going to give us vast amounts of energy. And with all this energy that we have here, I think we will take that and we can terraform this planet. And we're going to turn it into a tundra world because we're going to dump one of our, our Tiao probably down there a little bit later. Let's head over to this here. It's quite a strong group of ships here interestingly enough these are the ships that look these ships look very much like oh where are they gone uh they look very much like the ships that the fallen empires use Construction although they're obviously completed. not anywhere near as strong as them because they've just got cutting lasers which are not a major threat to us as shown they are Huzzah. Okay, right. Let me get one of these signed ships, which I'm pretty sure one of them is. Yeah, we want to get this guy up here as fast as we can. We want to get these covered. Good, good, good. More drones in that area. Have we taken much? We really haven't taken much damage. Let's go clear out these other ones. There is the mining core. Now, that's the one that I was looking for. Look at that. That is a massive fleet of these. But you can get quite Colony a lot out of them. And that is a, that's a very good system if we can get to it. So we want to try and get to that. If we can. Which I'm sure we can. Without too much difficulty. Let's just check here where our habitats Our habitats are sitting just below our planets once we've got them. So that's good. Let's check this is done. 
50%. Okay, still got a wee bit to go on it yet. So, we'll just do some extra upgrades. The, we need to put some more robots on this planet. Put three on just now. Over here, we've got a few. They'll be fine. This is science. Science. And, of course, science. More survey concluded. lovely boosts. Now, we're not going to fight this just now. We're going to pop back. But once I have my energy under control with this here planet, we are going to be looking at trying to fight against those robots and get that lovely system. Because this system should have a lot of minerals in it. Okay. War has been declared. Who declared the war? That is the purifiers. I hope that the purifiers are the ones being declared war on. I don't know if they are. It's hard to see, actually. These guys have still got an overwhelming fleet A to me. A world has been colonized. Ugh, very worrying. Alrighty, energy. Uh, actually, not energy. We want this set up here. We want to set this up here. We want to set up... We need an administrative array to get that. So we want to put our energy down here. And here. And here. And we want to go... Robots, 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 robots. Robots. One, two... Oh, where are we? Let's System see. survey concluded. Oh, mouse is doing its weird thing again. Uh, here we go. Nope. War has been declared. Forgive me, my mouse sometimes just is. Uh, it's on the way out at the moment, I believe. Going to need to get a new one quite soon. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Fleet command. Pop speed growth, not really that big a deal to us, but we'll take it anyway. Who was this? Who are these wars with? That's this lot. They are at war with them. Construction completed. Nope, not them. Uh, them. Where are they? These two right next to each other. Well, not. I've got these guys in the middle of them. Right. Okay, we need this energy. What are you doing? And our habitat's still got a little bit to go yet. That's fine. Research. <clears throat> now let's just check our research planet here. Yeah, we are producing uh, three-ish of each, although that's really low. Why is this one higher? This must have had... It did. Okay. Get some more put on there. Need to get a few more pops plopped on. Knowledge is the key to the universe. This one only has one more, so we need to put a bit more on that when we get the chance. Gene mods. Don't think we really need gene mods. Food is not too much of an issue for me. We'll take this one. We'll get the extra leadership pool size, etc. Just cycle these techs. That's why it's handy to have some tech, some of the smaller techs left and not just pick them all up at once because you can end up getting some nice little bonuses off of them. Put our guy on here so that he can 
make them build faster. I thought I'd done that already, actually. It's a bit of a shame that we've not been. Research concluded. Here's a cold fusion. Any weapon systems? Nope. Goody. Uh, I need weapons. Let's just take this sentinel there. Someone is not doing something. Put that one there. Oh. It's a pop there. Swap them round. Pop these in here. We'll try and do some different types of research in this area. Just to help out a little bit. Okay. This is still okay, this planet. You know, I mean, it's still producing 54 minerals, which is all right. Not exactly great for a mineral uh, for a mining planet construction completed but it will do for now the biggest thing we want is to get this one built debris analyzed as i see no aggression packs between those two who's this <clears throat> that was our guys next to us to the universe okay there's their research done Can look at more naval capacity I think we want to get those bio labs though, since we're using so many of them. I think that would be much preferred here. As an example of the the better mineral planet, this is a better mineral planet. We've got all the spaces free still, and we've still got 55 minerals coming in. So this is much better for us. Is this finished yet? Not quite, but it's finished enough that we can get our System survey concluded. colony ships set up. Started integrating. Oh, these guys. Oh, they're tiny. Yeah, these. The uh, this is the one system group down here. If you have need to fight someone, okay. That's fine. If we want to hire people, we can. I think the AI is normally super quick at picking that up, though, so it's unlikely we'd actually get a chance at it. Habitat is complete. Good. Okay, now we can look at completed. another one. Although that would be 10,000. We don't have the 10,000 for that at the moment. But if we get some habitats set up around each of these areas. Uh, wait, we can set one up over this planet. I think we can do one over this moon. No, we can't. Okay. We could actually strip out these asteroids and probably set them up around them. Definitely could over this world. Okay. Right, there's our savannah. Interstellar debris analyzed. Okay, we want to put the spare parts build here. Although I'll swap that over there just now. Very small amount of our population is Tiao now. So we're really not getting much out of them. But we'll turn that around later, so it's not the... It's not by any means a big problem for us. Just set them up there. Two, three. We're getting there. Once this is upgraded, we are going to put down the energy grid here. When does this finish? Very soon. Construction completed. Next, we want to go for the prosperity tree. So around the fourth tree, I like to go for prosperity generally. Uh, we can reduce the upkeep costs on our buildings and on our ships from here. And that will give us huge quantities of energy back. 
combining that along with what we're doing here with this energy planet, it's going to be a really good one to work on. So I think that is a good idea. What's this saying? We need a plant. Uh, we need a building, I believe. So once this is built up, it's fine. We'll shift it over without issue. I'm saving up for another habitat just now. That's why I'm not upgrading these star fortresses. Construction completed. System survey concluded. We do also, we're also going to end up with a negative in energy again when this flies out. Construction completed. Right, we're going to colonize here. Plop that down. There we go. This can go over. And once this gets to a decent size, we will be expanding out from there. So, it's all good. Oh, actually, no, I don't want that there. Uh, I want to produce that there. A new world of opportunities awaits. Excellent. Very excited about that. The key. System survey we want concluded. this over here. Good amount of... Uh, there's a decent size in these. 1.3k is okay. For a station. Research concluded. Research is there. That's good. That means that we can get shields. Although lasers might be worthwhile. In fact, yeah. Let's go lasers. We need better weapon systems. Or they really are Knowledge garbage right now. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Okay, what's this? Communications established with another trader. Really? Quantum missiles. Speaking of weapon systems. Uh, could look at coil guns. Oh, yeah, let's go for the coil guns. Just because I kind of need to use them just now. All right. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel on energy right now. We'll have it hopefully under control relatively soon. Two, three, four. Still got one more guy we to go after this. Hailed. They want us to give them minerals for... Yep, we will definitely accept that. This is going to help us to keep up on tech for the moment because... Well, let's just say that we are struggling. Those research agreements, though, are really pulling us up on this. Thankfully, though, our unity is really, really impressive. Because we've got so many planets, it's difficult to keep going for another habitat. So, actually... Yeah, I think we're going to spend System survey concluded. some of these minerals completed. to get our energy controlled. I think that's a good idea. This is still going to take a wee while to build in. Put this guy over here when he eventually comes in. Construction completed. Okay. Oh, there's some debris over there. I thought this was covered. Right, another research. Who's next to build? This one. Terraforming's finished over on that planet, so we could dump uh, some TL down there if we wanted. Although we are at maximum capacity for our, our ones again. Honestly, we don't really need that planet anymore. We can just build up the habitats and run off of that. That will be absolutely fine for us. Far from a problem. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Our biolab upgrade is going to be real helpful. I'm going to take this core system upgrade because what 
I was just talking about there was that it wasn't a big deal that we couldn't get one of these planets, but we can actually, excuse me, we can actually pick these up off the back of this. So it's not too bad. Yeah, we're in negative energy, but that is in the process of being sorted. I can't upgrade any of this stuff just now though, unfortunately. Okay. Interstellar debris analyzed. Yes, do a good job at that. Coil guns, again cruisers. We do want the cruisers this time. Because it also increases the fleet capacity, which is very handy. We're only using 50 of our 90 currently. Do that. There we go. Okay. Our fleet is ready to get built up at any time. I just need to get energy under control first. And if I absolutely had to, I could panic start I could start panic building it. Completed. So it's fine. Call these holiday homes. So that's exactly what they're going to be. We start shipping our TL across to them as soon as we can. Okay, right. So guess we'll just speed us up right now. We haven't had a lot of interaction with any of the other races yet, which has been a bit of a boon for us, to be honest. <coughs> Biggest thing that would be concerning me right now is that some of them... Well, this guy over here is overwhelming to us, which is kind of terrifying. But a lot of the others are fine. We, we, we have the potential to start building up again, uh, against them now. I could definitely attack this one, for example, and start to take them out. Although I do have a good trade deal with them. It feels like I could go for somebody, though, and start to take out some of their territory. I just need to wait for energy. As I keep saying. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Right. That was really quick, actually. I thought that would be a lot a lot longer coming. Um, I'm going to go for the selective breeding thing there. Uh, we can also look at getting this planet colonized in that case. Uh, here. Should really be a mining planet, I think. We'll see how our energy planet does once it's continuing here. Of course, this is going to colonize. We're going to go back up to about 7-ish energy. But then we're going to instantly drop down again because we've got a, a colony ship being been built. Colonized. So that's a bit of a shame. Okay, we want our spare parts. We want this thing. And... I think that's actually it. Okay, so we want to start resettling and we want to bring some of our friendlies over here. That will start to recolonize these planet uh, these habitats. So having them here will mean that we start to produce extra tial, we get our bonuses back up and we should be able to do some more stuff off of that. I'd like to try and get another station set up. Oh, look at that. 14%. Ugh. It's dropping fast. We need to get that sorted. You know, instead of taking this planet, I'm actually considering taking this one and putting more TL on it. 
But, ah, like, as long as we can get the 10,000 minerals, actually, we could just go ahead and not do that. Oh. Research concluded. Research. Good. Battle frame army. They are decent. They are pretty decent. I'm going to go with the claims, though. So. Although we don't need to go to war. It could be nice to go to war. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Let's get rid of some of these tile blockers at the moment. UV weapons are done. Good. We could look at no more hyperdrive, but I'm going to go for X-ray lasers. Because, well, hey, we need these. We've got our afterburners. We've got our energy sorted. Uh, we still don't have good enough power supplies to boost all of this up, though. Right. Ooh, that's a lot. We're going to wait until after the habitat, the next habitat, and then we'll build this up then. Construction completed. Good solid 200 odd minerals there. Construction completed. Is that colony ship moving yet? Yes, it is. Okay, we'll speed this up a bit until we get to 10,000 minerals. Or something else happens that I realise that I need to check. Construction oh, completed. Excellent. With this upgrading, we can... A tile blocker has been cleared. Wunderbar! Right, where's that tile blocker? It was in here, wasn't it? So that means we can get... Boom, boom, boom. Some more people built. And that... Oh, whoop, whoops. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There. Now we want to build this. This and this. It's going to increase our costs. But we've got Construction these two completed. resources here that can get sorted. And System once survey concluded. this is upgraded. The other thing we have to watch out for is food. But I just need one of these on a planet and we'll pr completed. pretty much be okay at it. Uh, right, that's built. Upgrade these. These are going to have a couple of upgrades in them, so this will drastically start producing energy out the wazoo. Where is the robot that is building that one? I'm going to swap this over, actually, System in that case. System survey concluded. Because if we swap them over, then that means this builds that bit quicker. Excellent. Right. Uh, we want shipyard build speed. Pop-up keep reduced. Oh, now. That is a good, interesting one. I wonder what's producing, what's costing us the most right now. Energy upkeeps. Pops are 75. Buildings is 100. And stations, 64-ish. Starbase upkeep. Our ship upkeep is only 40. But if we fly our ships out, it jumps to... Oh, 49. Yeah, that's that's still fine. So, actually, the one that's give, uh, costing us the most is still buildings. We want to go for this in that case. And we'll go for... We're going to cut down our building costs next. And then we'll go for our efficiency algorithm onto our pops. And then we'll go for it onto our ships afterwards. Although ships... Colony establishment has is, begun. Ships is very easy to jump back. Right, we've got another one down there. Right, we can upgrade this. We can upgrade... Can't... Oh, yeah, I can actually. Completed. Yeah, now that that planet is underway properly, we can afford this. You're going to see a big difference in energy now with this planet underway. 
Construction completed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's fine. <coughs> yeah, look at that. Plus 34. And we're about to get more upgrades here. With this planet's producing a good 27 already. Oh, we've needed this for a while. And with this, that also means we can begin to work on this other stuff. Let's just keep looking at these. As soon as these people, uh, as soon as these pops have pu jumped onto the planet, we'll take them off and we'll dump System them back onto concluded. Uh, the other place, onto our habitat. Just number it. So once these pops are produced, bam, bam, there. Research concluded. Tada! You get jumped across. Next, this one. It took a wee bit longer. Uh, it'll be fine. Gene mods, we could start to change something around with my, with, with those people. We could put on, if I was to take gene mod, it would not be too bad for the, for that population. We'll go for the influence bonus instead though. Because I can do a lot with that. Yeah, because our servitors are lower in uh, numbers at the moment, our influence has dropped off, which is a problem. Right, that's built now, or born. So we'll shift that over. We can just check here. 15% and rising. Concluded. Excellent. Capacity overload just wore off, and it's back on again. Construction completed. There's our 10 key minerals we were waiting on. Construction up. completed. And we'll end up stopping this one for today now. So, we've got a couple of habitats built. We've got our organic population on the rise again. Pretty decent. We've got our energy planet that's starting to build out nicely. We've got a few other planets here that need to be worked on still, but that's okay. Overall, this is going pretty well. And you can see that our minerals are just rising and rising now. So, biggest thing that we need to worry about is still our science. We are going to be trying to look at another science planet, I think. In fact, I might even just change this planet that's starting to produce minerals and dump it and just put it into science instead. I think that's actually what we're going to do. We'll make this a science planet. It's got quite a lot of science on it anyway, so this works out pretty well. Uh, let's just cancel that. And, uh, we can look at putting this on soon. Yep, definitely going to do that. This will be a new science planet. Huzzah! Right, take care, folks. We will see you on the next Let's Play Stellaris. Bye-bye for now.